water resources. Three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. But only a small part of it is fresh water that we can use. This fresh water mainly comes from surface water like rivers and lakes and groundwater which are constantly renewed through the water cycle. The water cycle ensures that water is a renewable resource. You might wonder if so much of the earth is covered with water and it is renewable, why do many countries and regions face water shortages? Why is it predicted that by 2025 nearly 2 billion people will have very little water to use? Water scarcity and the need for water conservation and management. Water is abundant and renewable, yet water scarcity exists. Water scarcity is often linked to areas with low rainfall or drought prone regions like deserts in Rajasthan. Uneven rainfall and seasonal differences lead to water shortages in some places. Human activities like overexploitation, excessive use and unequal access worsen the problem. Even areas with good water resources can face scarcity due to overuse by a growing population, increased water demand for domestic use, food production and industries, pollution from household, agricultural and industrial waste. Irrigation for agriculture is the largest consumer of water. Farmers use wells and tube wells causing groundwater levels to drop. There is a need for drought resistant crops and dry farming techniques. Industrialization and urbanization increase water demand. Industries use a lot of water and rely on hydroelectric power, adding pressure on water resources. Urban areas often overexploit groundwater with private pumping systems. Even when water is available, it may not be usable due to pollution. Chemicals, pesticides and industrial waste contaminate water, making it unsafe for humans. The Jal Jeevan Mission aims to provide safe pipe drinking water to every rural household. The goal is to supply 55 litres of water per person daily on a long term basis. Proper water management is essential to avoid health problems, to ensure food security and to support livelihoods and ecosystems. Mismanagement and overuse of water can lead to an ecological crisis. Multipurpose river projects and integrated water resources management. People build dams, reservoirs, embankments and canals for irrigation and water storage. Large dams are constructed to manage water in river basins. What are dams and how do they help us? Dams block rivers to store water which can be used later for the following purposes. Irrigation for agriculture, generating electricity that is hydropower, supplying water for homes and industries, controlling floods, recreational purposes, navigation and fish breeding. Let's see some examples of dams. Bakranangal project which is built near Satlej Bias river basin. It is used for irrigation and electricity. 2. Hirakud project built near Mahanadi basin. It helps in water storage with flood control. Multipurpose projects after independence. These projects were built to integrate water management with agriculture, industrial and urban development. Jawaharlal Nehru called the dams the temples of modern India symbolizing progress and growth. Let's see the problems and criticism of large dams. Environmental issues. Dams disturb natural river flow which leads to poor sediment flow and excessive sedimentation in reservoirs, rocky riverbeds and loss of habitats for aquatic life, fragmentation of rivers making it hard for fish to migrate. Floodplains are submerged which causes vegetation and soil to decompose. Let's see the impact on agriculture. Changes cropping patterns to water intensive commercial crops leads to problems like soil salinization means means excess soil accumulates into the soil. Other issues. Floods caused by sedimentation in reservoirs. Floodplains lose silt, a natural fertilizer and it worsens the land degradation. 
triggers earthquakes spreading water borne diseases and causes pollution government initiatives dams designed to control floods often fail during heavy rainfall which causes devastation of life and property and extensive soil erosion excessive water usage leads to environmental problems like pests and pollution now let us see hydraulic structures in ancient india sringavarapura 1st century bc it is near allahabad a water harvesting system was built to channel flood water from the ganga river during chandragupta maurya's time extensive construction of dams lakes and irrigation systems for water management was done irrigation works in historical regions sophisticated irrigation systems were found in kalinga that is in odisha nagarjuna konda in andhra pradesh bennur in karnataka kolapur in maharashtra bopal lake that is 11th century is one of the largest artificial lakes of its time hauskas tank of 14th century is built by iltutmish in delhi to supply water to the siri fort area what is a dam a dam is a barrier built across flowing water to stop or control or slow down the flow it often creates a reservoir lake or water storage area types of dams by structure and materials timber dams they are made from wood embankment dams made from earth or rock masonry dams which are built using stones or concrete so each type may have some sub categories now let us see the types of dams by height low dams which are short in height medium height dams which are moderate height high dams which are tall structures alternatively dams can be called large dams or major dams based on their size and importance now let us see pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana pm ksy it aims to ensure water reaches every form har khet ko pani it expands the area under irrigation for better crop growth two what are the goals of this program it improves water use efficiency so use water more effectively to reduce waste increase water availability it ensures water is available for longer periods and over more areas promote water saving technologies means it supports methods like per drop more crop to maximize water use encourage sustainable practices introduce long term water conservation methods rain water harvesting multi purpose projects have disadvantages so water harvesting is a better option socially economically and environmentally ancient india had advanced knowledge of rainfall soil types and local ecology which helped develop efficient water harvesting systems water harvesting methods in different regions hills and mountains built diversion channels like gulls or kulls in the western himalayas for agriculture rajasthan they practice rooftop rainwater harvesting to store drinking water in bengal flood plains they use inundation channels to irrigate fields in arid regions like jaisalmer and rajasthan they create structures like khadins and johads to store rainwater in agricultural fields underground tanks in rajasthan in semi arid areas like bikaner falodi and barmer houses had large underground tanks which are also called as tankas to store rainwater let's see the features of this tankas they are connected to sloping roofs through pipes they store rainwater from clean roofs after the first rainfall they could hold water till the next rainfall a reliable source during summers rainwater or palar pani was considered the purest form of water some houses had underground rooms near tankas to keep cool during summer rooftop rainwater harvesting has reduced due to the availability of water from the indira gandhi canal some houses still use tankas as they prefer rainwater 
over tap water. Rooftop rainwater harvesting in Gandatur, Karnataka. In Gandatur village, Mysore, 200 households use rooftop rainwater harvesting. Here the annual rainfall is about 1000 millimeters. Each house collects about 50,000 liters of water annually with 80% efficiency. So the village harvests a total of 1 crore liters annually making it rich in rainwater. Many rural and urban areas in India are successfully using rooftop rainwater harvesting to store and conserve water. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to Great Booster channel. Press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Check the description to find links of other useful videos. Check the end screens for our new videos.